What's up guys, Mega Man here, and this is just a quick video talking about some of the things that were mentioned during the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart gameplay. And link to the gameplay will be in the description down below. First up, because of the hardware, the city is full of life, there's traffic and civilians, and also the characters are not always the same as they were in the Ratchet and Clank dimension. And just seeing this view of the many vehicles just flying around this city, it just looks so cool. From the city to the planet that you're seeing right here, just all the bugs, the animals, or just creatures in general just flying and moving around this planet, it just really shows the details that they put into this game. Also, Rift Apart will include several alternate dimension versions of classic planets from the past games. Speaking of this planet, my bad if I mess the name up, on Sargassos, you'll be able to travel around using Speedles, as you see right here, and this was also shown off in the first trailer of this game. Now you know this wouldn't be a Ratchet & Clank game if they didn't show the weapon vendor, so throughout Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, the weapon vendor will be Miss Zircon. This is where you'll be able to refill your HP and ammo, buy new weapons, upgrades, and they'll have new and returning arsenal. A few new things being added into the game, when Ratchet gets done talking to Miss Zircon, asking about a ship to be able to leave the planet, she tells him to go find Phantom. Once he finds Phantom and talks to him, he learns some new moves that increase his mobility and that adds in dash and wall run. With the added dash and wall run mobility, players will be able to chain moves together for exhilarating combos. And using dash lets you evade attacks or gain advantages. I know some people are probably going to say, oh, this is already in other games. I'm excited to see it in this game, especially running around this city or different levels. Something else is pretty fun is he's going to have these hover boots, something we probably already expected because he doesn't have clank with him to be able to make certain jumps. We've seen this before, but for those that are new, dimensional tears in the world allow you to use Rift Tethers, another traversal mechanic, to instantly pull yourself across the battlefield to escape or flank enemies. Because of the PS5 SSD, they can near instantly teleport players to completely different locations, not a small arena being loaded, but the entire level of a different planet. Just think of the different fights and places we're probably going to be teleporting to. They really making sure that you got a lot of places to explore in this game. There's more fun things that you can do in this game, open areas to explore, dimensional clank puzzles, glitch challenges, arena challenges, aerial combat, gold bolts to collect, armor, and photo mode. And this is the first time Ratchet and Clank has ever gotten a photo mode, so this is a pretty good addition. I do wonder though, at the beginning of the gameplay, they did have like an info bot. I do wonder what did this bot have because when he came through that wall, he said missing info bot. He took Clank, but I mean, I think he meant to take the actual info bot too. So what could have been on this bot? Let me know in the comment section down below what did you think about the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart gameplay. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Stay tuned for future gaming updates and I'll see you guys in the next video.